Tasha, you, first off, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. You wrote a song, it's I'm, I'm Gonna Be Okay or It's Gonna Be Okay. Yes, yeah. Into the Sea. But the, yeah, I was gonna say, the name of it is Into the Sea. Now this song, when did you write this song? We wrote it about six months before the pandemic hit. Wow. And then when everything started going crazy in the world, we were just like, I think we're supposed to release this song. And so we did, and yeah. I think it spoke to a lot of people. Yeah, and, it, it, yeah. it resonated, I think, with people, with the audience. And it almost seems like you were speaking prophetic. I think so, and I think, you know, Jesus never promises that we're gonna have it good in life, and but he always promises to be with us. And so I think it's gonna be okay because he's with us. And I love I what you just beautiful. said, but he always promises that he's gonna be with us. He'll never leave, he'll never forsake. That's what it says. My heart is breaking in a way I never thought it could. My mind is racing with a question, are you still good? Can you make something from the wreckage? Would you take this heart and make it whole again? Though the mountains may Forsake me Cause only good things Come from you Though the mountains May be moved into the sea Though the ground beneath Might crumble and give way I can hear my father Singing over me It's gonna be okay It's gonna Such a dope song. It is going to be okay, right? Yes, it is. Man, it's good yeah. to know that. I think it's so important to let people know that. Natasha, you got this song, Look What You've Done. Yes. That is a song about what God has done? Well, it starts out as, look what you've done. You should be ashamed of yourself. And it's really what we say to ourselves when we've messed up. God. Or maybe what someone else has said to us. But then... The song, within the song, it turns around to say, God, but look at what you've done on the cross, in the grave, in my life, in my mind. Um, it's, it's really my life's testimony in a song, pretty much. I mean, everyone who's asked about it, I've said that's pretty much my life story in a song. So there you go. I was gonna say, I think that's all of our life story. And I think during like this pandemic and whatnot, one of the things I've saw was people beating themselves up a lot. And I had to remind them, listen, we're all going through the same pandemic. And it's not necessarily something you've done, it's just something you've just had to experience, the process, the pressing, if you will. But regardless of what you've done, God has done something so far greater. Exactly. That will give you the grace. Amen. To get through it. Look 
Look what you've done. How could you fall so far? You should be ashamed of yourself. So I was ashamed of myself. The lies I believe. They got some roots they run deep. I let them take a hold of my life. I let them take control of my life. Standing in your presence, Lord, I can feel you digging all the roots up. I feel you healing all my wounds up. All I can say is hallelujah. Look what you thought I was too broke and now I see you were breaking new ground inside of me standing in your presence Lord I can feel you digging all the roots up I feel you healing all my wounds up all I can say is hallelujah what I'm talking about. Look what you've done. You know, one of the greatest things you can do is look back over your life when you get in trouble and see the hand of God in all those seasons. And you can then truly say, look what you've done. And then I think that also kind of reminds you who to call when you are in trouble. Friends, with your faithful partnership, TBN is reaching over 175 nations. That's why for your gift of support, any amount this month, we are excited to offer you Michael W. Smith's heartwarming book, The Way of the Father. Take a moment to visit tbn.org slash the father. Thank you.